Hello everybody. Welcome to Footballverse channel. Today I am talking about World Cup team preview. The team is Japan. The Samurai Blue are in a brutal group with Spain and Germany, but the potential giant killers should not be overlooked. Japan made plenty of noise in the US when it dismantled Greg Berhalter's national team in a September 2-0 friendly win, but the Samurai Blue have been a consistent force since the last World Cup. Japan's best performance at the World Cup has been reaching the last 16 on three separate occasions. Coach Hajime Moriyasu, hired in July 2018. Hajime Moriyasu was capped 35 times as a player and has been manager since 2018 having previously been an assistant coach to Akira Nishino. In his four years in charge, Moriyasu boasts a 69% win record. He has coached the team to a runner-up spot in the AFC Asian Cup in 2019 and has won some silverware this year in the East Asian Football Championship. Before his international football career, he coached Sanfreaks Hiroshima to three J1 League titles and two Japanese Super Cups. Players to watch Takumai Minamino, midfielder Minamino has struggled somewhat in his club career since his move to Liverpool in 2020 and departure for Monaco this summer. He scored nine goals in the second round of World Cup qualifying for Japan, and the nation will hope that he can regain that form. Maya Yoshida, defender The 34-year-old is the Japanese captain and comes into Qatar having started every game and played every minute in each of the last two World Cups Japan will need all of Yoshida's experience his. Career has taken him from the Premier League to Serie A and now the Bundesliga with Schalke to deal with Spain and Germany's respective attacks. Take Fusa Kubo. Kubo completed his apprenticeship at Barcelona's famous La Masia Academy. The left-sided attacker is nicknamed the Japanese Messi due to his technical skill in small spaces, his ability to create space for teammates and his decision-making. World Cup Expectations Japan has a deep pool of players to choose from across Europe's top divisions with many playing in the Champions League and Europa League. The key for Japan will be making sure it defeats Costa Rica in its second game of the tournament, which would give the side at least three points heading into the Spain match. With its organized defensive setup and quick rate of passing, Japan should never be overlooked. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.